My name is Reen. I witnessed the 22 days of war, which felt to me like 22 years. Making sense of the war, one day at a time. My name is Fairuz Sabah. I am 19 years old. Reem and Fairuz are both students at the Islamic University in Gaza City. The engineer is there. So Their campus was shelled by the Israeli Air Force during the very early stages of the war. They still don't know why. I mean, what was the reason given to destroy it? I guess they said they are making rockets or something, but actually we used to come here with books. Trapped in the Gaza Strip, under siege and isolated, these young people are using modern technology to make their voices heard. Armed with mini cameras, they scour neighborhoods capturing the misery on video. And like millions of people around the world, they post their stories on YouTube. It's all part of a special program for young Palestinians eager to get their message out and show the world that they are no different than young people anywhere else. I think that what's really special about these young people is that they've, they've somehow been able to, to take their experiences and embrace them and still move forward with an optimistic outlook. But that said, I will say that after this last round of violence here, you know, we're seeing even in you know, these folks that really are very bright and forward thinking, you know, we are seeing frustration and a bit of a sense of despair. It's what motivated them to continue writing and filming during the war. Lehman Fairuz documented those dark days by keeping a diary. And every time I say, it's, this is the worst of what I have ever heard, the worst comes to tell me, not really, dear. Look at the scene, snipers above the building behind us, kids, elders, me, my family, and everybody, everybody just raising their hands up and waiting to be shot. When I, when I write, I feel more relief, like I can talk to, like I can get everything I feel inside in, in the paper. And I know that many people are going to read it. Telling the world about the plight of Gaza is a duty for Reem and Fairuz. They will continue blogging and filming, even if they know there might be less interest now that the bombing has stopped. For Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, Gaza City.